Hey guys, welcome to the SQLQ series. In this video, we'll be covering linear law. We're going to see how to use linear law to solve problems. So stay tuned. Let's get right to the question. The diagram shows a straight line graph by plotting log 10 y against x cubed, as seen in this diagram here. So here we have a linear relation. It's a straight line. The variables x and y are related by the equation y is equals to a to the power of x cubed plus n. So this relation here is not a linear relation. It cannot be written in the form y is equals to mx plus c, our slope intercept form. The theory for this, the video link is at the corner, where a and n are constant. So the variables here are y and x, a and n are constants, they are just numbers. Find the values of a and n. Let's highlight the important points first. We have log 10y against x cubed. This is the relation given to us. They want us to find the values of a and n. So our goal here is to convert this non-linear relation into a linear relation such that we can plot log 10y against x cubed. From this graph, our capital Y will be log 10y and our capital X will be x cubed. So let's see how to do that. We start with the relation that's given to us. y is equals to a to the power of x cubed plus n. The clue is in the graph. We need to end up with log 10y. So we have to add log 10 to the left and to the right of the equation. So we get log 10y is equals to log 10a to the power of x cubed plus n. Now we need to use some law of logarithms. I've done a video on law of logarithms. The video link is in the corner. So here we use this law. We can take the power and put it in front as a multiple. So here the power is x cubed plus n. So we can bring this to the front as a multiple. This will become x cubed plus n, which is the power, multiplied by log 10a. And now we can open bracket. When we open bracket, we must times multiply each term with log 10a. So we get x cubed times log 10a here plus n times log 10a and log 10a. Now at this stage, you should be able to see the pattern. We can already form our linear relation here. Remember the slope intercept form y is equals to mx plus c. We already have our capital Y and our capital X based on the graph. So if we just rearrange this, we bring this over here. Now I hope you can see it. When we compare, this is capital Y, this is capital X. Log 10A will be M. Remember M is for gradient. And this linear relation here is for this graph. So the gradient of this graph, M is the gradient of this graph here. And C is the y-intercept. So C is also the y-intercept of this graph because this is a graph of log 10y against x cubed. Our capital Y against our capital X. So now we can do comparison and find the values of n and a. First, let's look at the gradient. We have been given two points here. Whenever we have two points on a straight line, we can find the gradient. So let's find the gradient first. The gradient will be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So let's take these two points. y2 will be 10, y1 will be 2. So 10 minus 2, x2 will be 4, x1 will be 0. The x point here is 0. So we have 4 minus 0. And when we continue to work this out, we get the gradient of this graph, m, is equals to 2. By comparison, the gradient is actually log 10a. So now we can conclude that the gradient is equals to log 10a here by comparison here, which we have found the value to be 2. So log 10a is equals to 2. Now we can find the value of a by converting this log form to the index form. This is how we convert log form to index form. If log b x is equals to n, then x will be equals to the base here b to the power of whatever number is here on the right. So b to the power of n. x equals b to the power of n. So by comparison here, b will be 10, x will be a, and n will be 2. So when we convert this log form to index form, 
this is what we will get a is equals to 10 to the power of 2 here a which is x will be equals to the base which is 10 here 10 and this will be the power to the power of 2 and this will give us 100 so we found the value of a a is equals to 100 now we need to find the value of n and n is here part of this by comparison n log 10 a should be the y intercept and from the graph that is given to us we can tell right away that the y intercept here is 2 so we have c equals to n log 10 a we already know the value of c is 2 we also know log 10 a from earlier from earlier we found that log 10 a is equals to 2 so when we substitute those values in we have 2 is equals to n times 2 and when we make n the subject of the equation and divide both sides by 2 then we get n is equals to 1 so we started out with this relation here y is equals to a to the power of x cubed plus n but the graph was given to us with log 10 y and x cubed having a linear relation so our job is to convert this non-linear relation to a linear relation such that log 10 y is the capital y and x cubed is the capital x and by making comparisons and finding the actual values of the gradients as well as the y intercept we can find the value of the constants that's it for this video guys i hope you've learned something if you have please do hit the like button to support me and if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe i'll be producing at least one video a week i'll see you in the next video